false. So I, yeah. I, all right, but you have to look at it to determine if it's false. And I'll give you another explanation for gravity. Okay, so gravity says that you, you go, you're pulling to the center of the ball, right? Now, I agree with one thing, that there is a rate of fall, because that's evident. You can test yeah. it, you can retest it. That's our scientific method, right? Okay. I think, did you know that there's free-flowing electricity up there? Yes. In the atmosphere, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is what I think it is. I think it's diamagnetism. Okay. Nikola Tesla, he's the one who said wanted to give us all free electricity. Yeah. And then they ruined it because there's no way to put the meter on it. So, and you can't charge people for things like water, which we're getting charged for. Yeah. So, um, it's like a tour. We live in a tourist field, right? So, the, here's the North Pole. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. This is in the Boston Library, this map. Gleason's map, okay? And look, they all use a flat Earth map, but they leave off Antarctica, because I don't think they want you to know that it goes around the outside edge. But the electricity comes up out of the North Pole, Okay, then it comes around, it hits a dome. There is evidence of a dome. Look up lightning sprites. Okay, that's one evidence. Then it comes around and it goes through the moon, uh, the sun, which is a filament. It's like a big filament. And it's positively charged. And this is my theory. I'm not saying I can prove that. But this is another way of looking at it. And then it goes through the moon. Because the moon is a different light. It's not reflected sunlight. And it's also a filament. It cannot be landed on. So we didn't land on the moon. And he has a lot of evidence for that. And then it goes around. It's like a big donut with a hole in the middle. That's what I think it is. And we are being... That da, da, uh, diamagnetism is pushing us down, not pulling us down. Okay, so the, in that regard, you, you're not being toward, pulled towards the North Pole. In that it's regard, right? It's pushing us down and explain airplanes. Well, that's lift. Yeah, so if it's pushing us down, then it would push down. There's no, there's okay. no resistance. And wouldn't gravity eat to do the same thing? Well, no, because gravity is a pull downward. Okay, so why is it pull? And if it's pushing downward, then you're then you're escaping. But you still, it's, you're escaping but the lift? field of its grasp. If you go higher up, if it's pushing down, then I'm the not going to argue you with you. Go, it's pulling I'm not going to argue. Yes, yeah, so we have it's going no. Down. I I do. I think we're being pushed, not pulled. Yeah. That's the only difference in our argument. So Everything some, else in, that a, we can experience in reality is the same. Above this dome. I'm done talking to somebody who's going to talk over me. I'm just telling you about this. I'm just telling you about this. If you don't want to accept it after you research it, that's your choice. Okay. Okay? Okay, would you like to look up any of this? Sure you can. Look it up. You want one? Here. He got one. There is no curvature. There's no curvature. Okay, honestly, I think I gotta get going. No, that's cool. Yeah, go look it up. Sure. Look it up. There's no curvature to the earth. There's no curvature. Evidence ignored is ignorance. Lying to children is child abuse. There's no curvature to the earth. Look it up. Figure out a formula, then go find the curvature. If you can find it, let me know. Because I can't find any curvature anywhere. There's no curvature. Look it up. There's no curvature to the earth. Look it up. It, don't ignore any evidence. Where, honey? Where's the curvature? Are you? Where's curvature? Can I just take this off? Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's no curvature to the earth. Look it up. Figure out a formula. You can look it up. There's no curvature. There's no curvature. There's no curvature. Look it up. Look into it. You're a good, smart kid. Smart, smart people will look into this. There's no curvature. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. There's no curvature to the earth. Look it up. Figure out the formula and go find it. The 
There's no curvature. Figure out the formula and go find it in real life. Do it for yourself. Figure it out yourself. Do you have a question? On the planet Earth flat or all the planets? Um, well, you're saying that question because you believe that the Big Bang is why the Earth is here. And so everything was spewed out and we all started tumbling and it just formed a ball, right? It shifts That's what over the horizon. That's how you know there's a curvature to the Earth. And now we this have... This woman doesn't make any sense. We have... There was a Big Bang. We have... P900. You know what? You know what? You, no, you, no. Know what? you, you can get your own banner. Get the you can get your own banners and go down there and preach whatever you want. No, no, just this Google is this mine. Question. No, Google's part of the government. It's part of the government. See, you want don't want him to know anything. No, no, I'm a professor. You're a mommy. I'm so not stop a mommy. A mommy. And you're a professor? I'm a professor. Okay, lying to children is child abuse. Yeah, which is why you and need to you, leave a campus. And you, you, I'm just campus. telling, no, I'm just telling them to look this stuff up. Yeah, which you should. I don't tell I'm them to, to believe me. No, Google is a government agency. It's not a government agency. It is. Our government's lying to us. NASA is a government have agency. Have you ever been to the ocean and seen a ship on the ocean? Yes, I have. Have you seen it disappear over the horizon? Yes, I have. Then you don't believe in a flat earth. I do. You can't math. Do you know anything about perspective? I do. No, you don't. Ships disappear over the horizon because the Earth is curved. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're ignorant. Google is not a government agency. It is. It is. Liar! Liar! Yeah, you're lying. Do you have any further arguments here? Because yeah, I do. This is not our. But I'm not going to talk over you, and I'm not going to debate. Go look it up yourself, honey. There is no curvature to the earth. There is no curvature. Make up your formula based on a 24,000 mile equator. No, that's not true. That's not true. If you ignore the evidence, you're ignorant. There is no curvature to the earth. Look it up yourself and decide for yourself. Look it up yourself and decide for yourself. She's trying to keep her job. She's trying to keep her job. That's the only thing she's doing. I got a, I got a college professor down here trying to... Oh. Yeah. oh, you want to come down? So there's so much more, though. There, uh, our, 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 our there is no curvature. Figure it out. Look it up for yourself. And go out and find the curvature. You won't find any. There is no curvature. Figure out the formula and don't lie to kids. There is no curvature. Look it up yourself. Figure it out yourself. Decide for yourself. Think for yourself. There is no curvature. Figure it out yourself. Figure it out. And think for yourself. Just think for yourself. That's all I'm saying. I've been in a plane. Think. Yeah, so have I. I dated a pilot. My dad was a pilot. You can see it, though. You can see what? You can see the curve. Do you see the horizon at your eye level? <laughs> then why isn't it going down? About six months ago. Don't be ignorant all your life. One more question. How do you explain the seasons? Seasons? The sun is very close. I'd say it's 9.3 miles. That's what I say, okay? But it's very close. You can feel the heat when it comes, right? Okay, and it goes around the tracks. Here. Yes, it is. This is a Tropic of Cancer. That's the equator. The Earth has no curvature. Look it up, figure it out. This is a Tropic of Cancer. Tropic of, that's the equator, and the Tropic of Capricorn. If you look in the Book of Enoch, did you ever hear of the Book of Enoch? I heard of it, but I never read it. Yeah, it's not in the Bible. Okay. It's an ancient writing. Mm -hmm. It talks about the circuits. Okay. So the sun travels following these circuits. So that the, sun, the sun 
The sun moves around gotcha. the earth. Gotcha. Not the moon. And you can see it. There's some video. The one video on here is a time lapse of the sun. Okay. You can see it going away, 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 and getting smaller and smaller. Gotcha. It's, it's very amazing. It's amazing. So that's what causes the change in temperature uh, season. Yes, and the change in the temperature. The sun is putting out heat. It's not 93 million miles away. I mean, how could you even, like, you wouldn't feel any heat with that. And they say it's from a tilt of the earth, the earth just tilting. No. That's, I mean, when you really think about it, we were lied to when we were five years old. We never challenged it. Now we're older. We should be starting to think. Yeah, you got to challenge it. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, yeah. I went looking for a working model. I said, they're crazy. Two and a half years ago, I said, this is crazy. And then I looked for a working model, and I found it. And that made a whole lot more sense to me than that heliocentric stuff. Yeah, look it up yourself. There is no curvature to the earth. Figure out a formula and go find some. There's no curvature to the earth. Figure out a formula, then go find the curvature. There is none. There's no curvature to the earth. Figure it out. Figure it out. Here you go. Here, here you go. Look at, look at. You gotta just Take love care. people to do this. Gotcha. Thanks care. for stopping. There's no curvature to the earth. Look it up. Figure it out yourself. Figure it out. Use your brains and figure it out. There's no curvature. Figure it out. Use your brains. Look at reality. Reality says there's no curvature. Figure it out. How could I say this if I didn't know? You got to figure it out. Figure it out. Figure out a formula and look it up. Lying to children is child abuse. Are you a child abuser? Figure it out. Figure out the formula and go find the curvature. Go find it. Where is it? There is no curvature. Take a picture. Take a picture of the banners and look it up. Start thinking for yourself. Start thinking. Stop just repeating what's in a textbook. Start re applying it to your life and your world, your reality. Is a spinning ball really the reality we live in? Is it really? Figure it out. Do we really have curvature? Where is it? What's the formula? Look it up. What's your reality? Are you on a spinning ball that you can't feel moving? Is that sun really 93 million miles away? Do you really think so? Or do you not thinking at all? Are you thinking? Is your brain working? Come up here. Here. No. I can prove it. I can prove it. It's round like a pizza. Are you thinking? Can you think with your brain? Can you figure out if there's a formula for curvature? Is there any curvature? Does it exist? There is no curvature. <laughs> There's no curvature. Figure out the formula and go find some. Take a picture and look this stuff up. 
guy who does uh, it. By the way, it's not a purely stuff. Look it up! Good! Good! I hope you do! The, the video's at the bottom. You can look up this too. It's on there. Alright, I have a question. Okay. Uh, what about hills? Hills? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? I have a special answer for people who ask stupid questions like that. Yeah. Go to the water. Okay. Go to the water. There you go. There is no curvature. How do I know? Yeah. Because I've been down to the shore, and right. the principles of water is it's always flat on the top. So your lakes are flat. The Suez Canal is 100 miles of flat. So uh, there's Bandi Soleil down in uh, Bolivia. Oh, Solar de Uni. Solar de Uni. Then there's uh, salt flats. You know, salt flats were created by big ancient salt lakes that dried up. So if there was gravity, then they would be curved. There would be no natural flat places on Earth. Yeah. Okay? So the oceans are also flat. Now, you see a, a ship going over the ocean, over the curve? Yeah. We have cameras now that can zoom in on them and bring them back. You couldn't do that if it was curved. It would be looking through the water. Fair enough. Right? Makes sense. Like, literally, they glitch out. But the background... Look this up. There's no curvature to the earth. Figure it out yourself. There's something to this. Figure it out. Use your brain. Do you have a brain? Are you going to use it today? Tell me what's real. Tell me the truth. No, you figure it out yourself. Figure it out yourself. There's no curvature. Figure it out. There's no curvature. There's no curvature. Figure it out. Use your brains. Do you have a brain? Are you going to use it? Are you going to use your brain today? Does anybody want to use their brain today? You have a question? Okay. You can ask a question. It doesn't hurt. Do you get one of these? I have one. Yeah, go ahead. Ask run me, me. Run me, no, run me through it. Run me through All right. it. All right. Um, <laughs> so here's the flat earth map. This was in the Boston Library. It still is. It's called the Gleason's map. So this is, this is the map of the Earth as it is flat? That's, that's the best one we have. Okay. Okay? How is that, how is that produced? I hope you don't mind me asking. Well, that. you know what? That's, that's not going to get you where you need to go. No, I'm, I'm curious. Like, how is it? I don't know. Like, did some guy draw it? I don't know. Okay. Okay? But that's the Gleason's map. That's the best one we have. It's in the Boston Library. All these world organizations use a flat earth map. Here's the United Nations, but they leave off Antarctica. Why they leave it off? They leave it off because they don't want you to know it goes around the outside edge. There's a lot of ways they could have put it on there. So if there is a spinning ball, then it has to have a curvature formula for how far out and then how far down it drops. Has to be, right? Okay. Well, so this is the curvature formula. We figured it out that using that. And there's Chicago across 60 miles of Lake Michigan. Should not be able to see it. And it's not a mirage. We have proof of that. Okay? So water's always flat on the top. Well, that's not true. Like, you know, in a cup, there's always that. Okay. Yeah, I understand that. But that's tension. Okay? But that's only in a very small cup or whatever a test Isn't tube the earth kind of small? no it's well it's not big it's you're right but it's also flat and there's no surface tension with a sandy beach okay so here's another thing if it's a flat surface you get a line as a reflection 
If it's a curved surface, you get a spot. You can take that glassy, glossy piece of paper and a light bulb and do that test yourself. Just test all these things yourself. Okay? Now this is, um, this is reality. We get the line. Okay? Now this is star trails. When you put your camera on Polaris and then leave your aperture open, you'll get concentric circles, which are called star trails. Now that's what is reality. But this is what they're teaching us right there. They teach us that. You think that is going to produce reality. That's what you have to decide for yourself. Don't, don't believe me. You figure this out. You look at these things. All these books are being censored. Take a really good picture of that. Get some of those books and look at them. Okay? Here's experiments that you're not being taught correctly in school if you're being taught at all. Michelson, Morley, Aries Failure. This is what you get in NASA. NASA? NASA gives you the same diameter, but they're different sizes of the United States. Now, how does that happen? If it is a spinning ball, we're spinning a thousand miles an hour at the equator. So with centrifugal force, at least you would think we would weigh less. But we don't. There's no difference. Why is that? There's some questions you have to answer for yourself. I'm just giving you the information. So here's a scientific method. Gravity is a big question that everybody asks. So are we being pulled to the center of a ball? Are we? I don't know. I don't think we are because it's never been proven. However, I agree that there is a rate of fall because that's reality. We can test that. We can prove it. It can be repeated. But I think it's diamagnetism that's really pushing us down, not pulling us down. I think we live in a torus field where the electricity comes up out of the North Pole. It excites the elements of the atmosphere. That's where we get the aurora borealis. Then it goes up and it hits the dome. There is a dome. The evidence for that, if you look up lightning sprites, that's the, that's the best evidence we have for the dome. It's lightning sprites that come off the dome. Okay? So the other thing, uh, then it goes around and it, the free-flowing electricity goes through the sun, which is a filament. The sun is very close. It's not 93 million miles away. We do not have a vast atmosphere or a universe. It's all within the dome. We live in a realm, and it was created by someone, somebody, I don't know. You figure that out, too. Yeah. How, how can you explain the speed of light? Um, Y'all are fucking nuts. Given, <laughs> given the distance it takes to, to get from the sun to Earth, we, we can calculate that relatively. That's because all those things you are told. But we can but, experiment with that. We can, but, we, can, I can, we can sit here, we can get, we can, we can get potential. Uh, we could we could we could get two spinning uh, uh, wheels. We spin that fast enough, the light source behind it at, at a relative speed. If we match that rotation up, um, say okay. A mile, I understand that. that you're, I understand something here. You have studied some things in your life, and you think you have a really good grasp of this knowledge. Okay. I, I don't. I, I, okay. I assume I'm theories. Uh, okay. So I'm going to tell you that this. If there's a sphere, there has to be a curvature formula. Okay? If you don't like this formula, figure out what it is. Then you go find the curvature. I'm talking about the Earth is flat. It's not curved. And if there's something wrong with what you've been taught, then maybe what you've been taught is not right. And that's what I'm saying. There's no curvature. And I, had, I can prove that. Many people can prove that. But you have to figure out what's true and what's not. I'm not here to convince you of anything. I'm not going to argue or debate. You, you, you give, you give uh, information about your point of view. Uh, but my point of view is if I can just prove one element of this... No. Can it be, yeah, but, no. No, you can't because look. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I've I'm, got 200. If I'm you not, come up with 200, then we got something to debate but I'm, about. But I'm not, I'm not trying to say. You're using my logic. If, if one of my things that I know is to be true is wrong, then maybe I should question everything. But in the same standard, if I can disprove maybe one of these, would you also question? question I think that things? some of the things that were taught in physics are incorrect. But, but would you would you agree that if I could disprove one of your theories, one of those fundamental theories that you believe is absolutely correct? Well, which one? Go ahead, tell the me. The speed of light. 
That is, that is the easiest one to disprove. If I can calculate the speed of light, yes, I can say right, that where, the Earth tell me where is I say, Tell me where it says 186,000 miles per second. Where does it say that? What you assume is the sun is very close, yeah? That, that's what you said. It's closer than it is. I'm just trying to get the facts right. All right, all right. The sun. The sun is very close. Did you ever read the book of Enoch? It's an ancient document, not in the Bible. I don't I don't know. I've never read it. Okay, that says the sun is close, and it goes on a circuit. Okay, so you're following that. Do you know circuit. anything about quantum physics? Yes, I do. Okay, you know you can take a frozen disk and suspend it, and it can go around? That's not real. That's, that's magnetation, yeah. Okay. Okay, right. that's what I think is happening with the sun. Okay, but you're saying it's close. This is close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you can feel you, that you it comes. Do you, you believe can, that the speed yeah. of light is... How can it be? How can it be that even a cloud will make it cooler? <laughs> a cloud goes by the sun and it gets cooler? Well, reflection. Uh, reflection uh, uh, off of the... Yeah, but it's, it's not 93 million miles away. It can't be. I, it, in my mind, that is not making sense 93 million miles away. And just the tilt, a 23 degree tilt yep. is going to make it... Winter and summer? Yes. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Wait, why not? Because it's too far away and just a tilt. You know what they say? If they say it's the angles of the sun rays. The angles of the sun rays coming in. And and it's only the direct rays that really are hot. What is that? What do you mean direct rays? Is that's going to make a season change? Are you a scientist? Can no. I have, have a day job. Thank you so much. No, it's uh, what are you doing? it's That's not enough. That's not enough for me. Um, if it's enough for you, that's good. Then, I mean, I then like go on your merry way. Then you can be that way the rest of your life. That's fine. No, no, no. But it's not enough for me. I'm, I'm not done what, having what conversation right now. Earth being flat. What do I gain? Yeah, well, like, okay. What's your end you goal here, it, essentially? Okay. I don't like lies in my government. Yeah. Okay. There's oh, a lot more and more important ones. I don't. <laughs> no. If, if you understand that the Earth is flat, then that... Oh, wait, yeah, that wait a minute. Yeah. If you do come to the understanding that the Earth is flat, then you will know that they are lying about everything. Then you'll know that. But until you come to that point, you won't know. So you're talking about then like you are going to trust. Life, life is a simulation. No. Like that or like. No, I'm saying our government lies. Yeah, they've been doing that. Well, I, like I am exposing. I, I don't think they lie about this one. Right after the I think they lie about, like about, like like right about, like about a lot of other yeah, shit. Well, well you, you know what? You know what the difference in you and me is? I've been studying this two and a half years, and you never heard about it until today. You never heard of shit. We're both not scientists, so I would say scientists have more weight in this matter. Well, then, you know what, then? That's what you believe. Where is it? I have it on here. Uh, you can't give any more weight to a guy in a lab coat. I have it on here. So here it is. You cannot give more weight to a man in a lab coat. Oh wait, wait. But I, 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 I could, so I could write that sounds. I could say the exact opposite. I said give all no, the weight to a lab coat. Print. Yeah. Then, <laughs> then you go worship your priests in your lab coats. I'm atheist, so. That's your priest. This is your religion. The spinning ball is your religion. Because you can't prove any of it. I don't worship the spinning ball. You can't. What happens the you, you worship the guy in a lab coat. You believe everything they say. So, you repeat it. You live your life. What goes under the I have a question. Uh, Do you think the sun is flat, too? Like, is the sun flat? What, what is, what is, what is, is it a ball? Or is it? I think the sun could be a sphere. Okay. Why? So if the sun's why? A sphere, because why, why, wait, 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 wait. why is the sun a sphere? I say it could be a sphere but like because it's it could also be like a flashlight it could be pointed down like this it could be a disc it could be a disc so like a like a flat disc like of just like what is it made out of what is the earth, or what is the sun made out of i've never been there do you gas. no i just wonder like i it's not gas i think it's a filament i think it's a like filament made out of what electricity or like some kind of filament material it, no, the, the like sun what? is created it's some made kind of, like of metal maybe <laughs> uh, some kind of filament like a man made like metal out like a light bulb like well really, like yeah. Whoever made whoever made this world that we're living on and, and the, the dome, world. then whoever made that made the sun. And I don't know. I am not going to tell you who that is. I don't know. I just have I have so, one question. So, the Earth falls off in one place, right? Yeah, no, I you believe that the Earth falls off and you like fall like you off in this space. No. Yeah, if, if the Earth's flat, how come this is not? Antarctica right here. Okay. Right. Antarctica goes all the way around the outside edge. Okay. 
Okay. So that holds in all the waters. Okay. So, why you go so how come we've never found the edge? Yeah. We did. Where? Okay, Admiral Bird. Where's the edge? I'm not going to be talked over and disrespected. Admiral Bird. Admiral Bird went down there in 1958, way before you guys were born. Okay. Okay. But not in a lab coat. He was not wearing a lab coat. He was a admiral, and he was given a, a lot of money to go down there and fleets and airplanes and the airplanes kept crashing into something they couldn't see that's what we think is the dome the edge of the dome do you know that they're going down there and they have religious ceremonies down there now do you know senator john Kerry went down there and they're having these ceremonies what are they doing down there do you know it's being do you know it's protected by the military do you know you're not allowed to go past the 60th parallel did you know that do you know you can't go and explore there freely unescorted you know that you have to pay thousands of dollars they go down you go down they hold your hand and they show you a fake south pole and they admit it that's fake did you know that is there anything that you know about you know antarctica is, apparently Wait, I, have a question. I did thank you son um what about other planets like, okay. What about like Mars and Jupiter and Saturn? Like, are they? Right. Do they exist? Or are they until until the Earth is flat. Are you Are you going to talk and answer the questions? I'm, I'm not, I want to know like what until until this all NASA came into being. Okay. Okay. A lot of people knew that the Earth was flat. Everyone believed that. Okay. okay? They all knew, but then NASA came into being. They had they came up with the Big Bang. Uh, it was probably uh, Copernicus. They say they say it's a lot older than it really is. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't really believe that all these people they say did things way back when did, actually did it. Okay. But the Big Bang says all all the heavenly bodies are the same because they all exploded and they all started spinning. And that's why everything's the same. But that's not true. Okay, so like, do other planets exist as spheres then? Or are they like, all right, are when they you, flat? When you look in a telescope, all you see is a circle. Yeah. You can't see if it's rounded like a sphere. You can't see that. It's a two-dimensional. If, like, if you put like a beach ball all the way over there and you're just looking at it from I understand that. Like a circle too. I understand that. I'm not stupid. I didn't say you were. I okay, but but in a telescope, right. all you can see is a two-dimensional object. Yeah. Now I talked to two astronomers okay. looking through telescopes, and they said they can see the spin of Jupiter. I said, "How do you know that?" They said they saw the red spot go from the left to the right. Okay. That means it was spinning. I'm there. Could it be that there's another heavenly body up there that's? translucent and red and yeah. is moving across the face of that well I never thought of that well did you know that there are other heavenly bodies there's guys who went up in an airplane uh -huh. took photographs of the eclipse they caught five other heavenly bodies but you won't know is that, that, what is that you body? won't know that unless you look on flat earth sites that are giving you this other information that is being withheld from you. Have you seen that movie, The Simpsons, where they have a dome around the... Like, yeah, they mock us every chance they like can. It? Is that what it is? They mock us every chance they can get. Go ahead. I, uh, I just find out why is NASA lying about... Well, first off, they get $52 million a day, okay? But it really money means nothing to them. What they do is they are part of the organization that gives us control over us. There is a lot of stuff that we are being lied about and that is because they want to control us. They're going to get us into something um, we think they're going to fake an alien invasion and that's going to unite the world under this one world government which is why the United Nation was, was formed. Okay? So watch out for that. Just watch out for that. This this right here. Yeah. So you no, I'm going to, like but that. like I got That's what it looks like. That's the best representation we got. Okay, yeah. 
So yeah, I'll, the I'll reason it, that like, all of these are using the this projection is because that's just one map still, projection. That's not what it actually looks like. That's just a that's just a way to. Well, if they're using it, honey, if they use it in military op, wait, if they use it in military operations, then it should be pretty accurate, don't you think? What does it matter? It's just okay. So you're not going to get this today. That's why I refuse to just you know to argue with anybody. I understand that. I've heard them all. I understand that. And you're, it took, it's going to take you a couple weeks of just thinking and looking and observing your surroundings until you start to put this stuff together. It's going to take a while. So I, I wish you a good journey through your life, but I'm not going to argue, okay? Okay, I just... I, I know you want to you, tell me how smart you are, I know. Did you say that you can't live above the 60th parallel? You can't go below the 60th towards Antarctica, towards Antarctica because they shoot you first, then they ask questions later. So there's there's no scientific missions in Antarctica right now. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty. I'm sure they have a lot of Citizens missions. Can go there. Uh, yeah, sure. Them. Yeah, sure. But how the heck do you know what's yeah. Got to go to fucking yeah. Antarctica now, I guess. Yes, I you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You have to go and do it yourself. You have to think for yourself. Don't believe anything I'm saying. Look it up and study Have you ever it. gone to Antarctica? No. Are you going to? No. Why? No. Why do I need to do that? I, well, why do you I, not, like, I go wait? down to the shore, and I can see Wildwood from Atlantic City, and that's 30 miles. That's good enough for me. There's a formula. If you, don't, if you think that there's a curvature to the Earth, you take your equator, which is 24,901 miles, you figure out a curvature formula for a sphere, then you go look for curvature. Go look for it. And see if you can find it. Okay. Because you can't find it. If you're looking out at the ocean, you can actually see a small curvature. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. I take this level with me down to Ocean City. Okay. Okay? The, the horizon will always be at your eye level. No matter how high you go. In an airplane, Mount Everest... Wherever you go, it's always at your eye level. It never goes down. So let's say you have a, there's a boat, okay, out on the ocean, right? There's yes. There's a boat close to you, right? And then there's a boat farther away, but it's a little lower down because it's going over the horizon. No. Yeah. No. It's perspective. And if you get a P900 camera, which is about $600, you can zoom in on that ship and bring it right back into focus. If it was over the curve, you'd be looking through water, and you wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, really, it's going to take a while. Just be observant. Look at what your surroundings are. Look for curvature. Think. Don't just believe what they say in a textbook. Just, I want you to apply what you're learning to your reality of the earth. I'm here because I love you guys. Believe this or not, I love humanity. I love humanity or I wouldn't be out here and letting you guys laugh at me. Do you understand that? I want truth in this world. I want a government that's honest, and that's why I'm here. I went to my school board in my town two nights ago, and I gave them this presentation. I want truth in the schools. If you never heard of this before, why aren't they saying, hey, there's this theory out there? Why aren't they doing that? I don't know. Let kids think for themselves. Did everybody get a card? Love you. I'll take one. Thank you. Look it up, guys. What's, so what's your like? What's your opinion then on the Apollo landing? Like, never, never happened. Like, never happened. Never. Hey, look. Uh, he's got a picture down there. Go look and see if there's dust on the feet. Go look and see. Show me the dust on the feet. No, it's a big banner. Down here. Here. Are there any dust on that feet? Is there dust on the feet? Is there a, a crater from where the uh, where it landed? Oh, uh, depends. Think about that. Yeah. Just think. Lying to children is child abuse. Look it up, guys. Lying to children is child abuse. The videos uh, down at the bottom, the 200 proofs. Make sure you see that one. And then there's a time lapse.
if you go here, the time lapse video of the sun, it's just like shocking to see it. How far away is the sun? I think it's really close, like 9.3 miles. But that's just my personal opinion. Oh yeah, that's know. my person. It's not as hot as it actually is then, like because oh no, it's burn. it's hot. Sure, yeah, I get sunburned all the time, but it's not 93 million miles away, and it's not 400 times bigger than the Earth. Okay, it's it's very small. Don't be an idiot. The world is a pyramid. Well, do you ever notice that there are pyramids all over the world? Did yeah, you ever notice they, that? They're based off of us. Because every other planet is round except for ours. Well. We shall see. Um, did you always believe the Earth was flat, or did you like two learn? and a half years ago? I was fifty. I was fifty nine and a half when I first heard of this. I'm there. What? They're crazy. And the second time I heard it, I said, "Oh, those poor delusional Christians." And I'm a Christian. The third time I heard it, I said, "Okay, I'm going to solve this once and for all. I'm going to look for a working model." And I went looking for it, and I found it. And I said, "You know, that makes sense." So I was a glober just like the rest of you. I was brought up on this stuff too. And I hate lies. So that's why I'm here. And I really appreciate you sticking and listening to this. So just do some research. I just like to know like everyone's different point of view. Yeah, just go look into it and when, you know, look at your surroundings. Know where you live. Just know. And know the government lies. Government is lying. Here you go. Yeah? Take a picture. Come on. Come on, big boy. Take a picture. Okay. Yeah. And then look it up. Huh? Then look it up. All right. And then if you find curvature, tell me about it. Okay. Really? I don't know. I already know. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, good for you. Good job. I have a YouTube channel. You'd be on it. Maryland Spirit Level. Is that on this thing? Well, you'll find me on this website because uh, it's kind of like they feature me. Okay. On Flat Earth 101? Yeah. Okay. The, he's, he's on there too. I designed these banners though. You said you're at the Maryland Spirit? Maryland Spirit Level. This is a spirit level. The spirit is the water in there. Spirits. They used to use alcohol. That's why. Oh, okay. Now it's just water. <laughs> so what happens when you go off the edge? I don't know. I've never been there. All I know is Antarctica. Very high ice walls. Look up Operation High Jump. Military took... I've heard of that. Okay. And Operation Fishbowl. Okay. There's a lot of military. And Operation Deep Woods. Operation Paperclip. Where they brought the Nazis over. Yeah. Smart guys they were. You know that flight? That, that girl was giving birth on a plane? Yeah. yeah in the Philippines to L.A. And they stop in Alaska. Yeah. How, how's that work? It works perfect on a flat earth map from Philippines to LA and they stop in Alaska. It's a straight freaking line. But, what? If the earth's flat, why does it matter? Why does it matter? Do you want lies in your government? Uh, Do you care? Do you care that the government lies to you? Well, then you're, you're too far gone, so you might as well just go. Yeah, you're too far gone in the mind. Oh, really? Why? Because you don't care about lying in the government. Right. So see you later. Have a nice life. No. You know what? This is my banner, and I'm telling everybody about the truth. That's fine. And if you want to preach lies, go over there and do it. When did I? You said you said you don't care if people lie in the government. Well, the government is supposed to be truthful, and there's a law that says that the public schools have to teach the truth. Wait, I have a question though. Why does it matter is my question. Because it's the law. But the laws are made by the same people you think are lying. I don't agree. And that's why you're too far gone. Bro. All right, do you know that they call it, when we saw when we saw in the United States, where the Pledge of Allegiance, what does yeah. it say? Pledge of Allegiance to the Republic, right? To the Republic. Does anybody know what a Republic means? I do! What does a Republic mean? Oh, it's a rule of law. It's not a democracy. That's correct. It's not. It's a republic. It's a right choice. <laughs> You gotta love people to do this. I appreciate you stopping. <laughs>
Three miles, there should be six feet of curvature. Six miles, 24 feet, 10 miles, 66.6. Anybody hear the word 666 before? Anybody know about 666? You think they made up that curvature? Good possibility. What? Are you a Catholic or Christian? I am a Christian. Okay. Yeah, but that's not why I came across no, I this. I know that's not. I, I just wondering. I just see the Pope with the, the... Yeah, isn't that freaky? What's that all about? Is the Pope involved in that? That's what I'm wondering. Well, you know, this Pope is a Jesuit. Okay. Okay, did you know there's not supposed to be any Jesuit Popes? Oh, I never heard I'm Catholic. Yeah, look at him. And it was a little so odd how the last Pope got out of office, wasn't it? It was a little premature. Yeah, I know, but it was a little strange, I think. He's part of all this then, right? I think so. LeBron and him. I think so. They're all, in, they're all in some kind of club. They're all in the club. Yep, and we're not part of it. How do they it. communicate? It's yeah. crazy because there's like Pope. Well, you know, you know all those meetings we're not invited to, like, like G20. Oh, okay. That, that's Pope. And Bilderberg. And Hillary Clinton and George Bilderberg. Bush. Bilderberg. Yeah. Jackson. Right. Yeah. That's what they mean. Is that, who's that? That's Michael Jackson. Right? I don't know. Seal. All them. Seal? Yeah. So what's Seal have to do with it? Well, you know, sometimes they do it just so they don't get attacked. Okay. They don't want to lose their jobs. Like the guys in the lab coats, scientists. They don't want to lose their jobs, like so they pilots. just go along. Like some of the professors in this college, they just go along. You know, about the pilots, like they, they have to know that the Earth is flat if they want to fly these planes. Some of them, I think a lot know. Some of them just don't even don't even think. They don't think. Is is just Earth flat or are other planets flat too? Well, the planets used to be called wandering stars. Right. Okay. And uh, so Planet came, kind of came up with the uh, NASA thing, and it all got, it all changed around. And the history of that is really not clear. I don't 